Hello YouTube, it's Grosama. And basically what I want to do is cover all the Gunpla releases in June. So um, next month, I've already, you know, I've been looking at June's releases for a while now. And um, it doesn't look as impressive. Like there's a couple of kits I'm like super hyped for. But I think in a large scheme of things, uh, June is really going to be a very slow month. Um, so I, I, I would just not expect a lot of craziness, uh, such as some kits that came out uh, this month, such as the F91, which I think was a pretty big release. Um, maybe some people felt like it wasn't as big of a release, but to me, I think it was a, uh, a pretty a pretty good release in this month. Uh, come next month, we have a new line coming out, which is the SD Cross Silhouette. I'm very excited about those kits, and that's actually kind of like the reason I bought my airbrush is because I really want to paint those up and do some really good, uh, not really custom work, but I want to I want to do some some justice behind these kits. Um, so overall, I think they're gonna be a pretty good line. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right into all the kits that are releasing next month in June. Okay, so the first thing that we do have is going to be uh, basically the high grade. Uh, Gundam Ace, uh, well, Gundam Double O Diver Ace. Uh, this kit is releasing in uh, June, uh, 2,160 yen. So as you can see, um, it's basically just a combination of both the uh, the Double O Diver as well as the Ace unit. Um, the only big difference is, as you can see, uh, it does come with the uh, the clear green parts as well as the cl uh, clear red parts. Uh, so I know a lot of people was having you know complaints about the uh, the clear green piece having that sticker the red sticker that goes over instead of a clear red piece uh so basically if you want both of these parts together uh you can definitely buy this and you'll get that red piece uh and you, you ain't gotta worry about painting or anything um but i'm not i'm obviously not buying it because i have a diver ace i have a double o diver so this is just gonna be a skip for me okay and next we have the high grade unicorn gundam Phoenix. Uh, this is the destroy mode. So uh, I don't know if there are if they are going to release a unicorn mode, but this is the destroy mode of Phoenix, and this is the narrative version. So uh, what makes this different is basically there's going to be those like little pigtails. Um, that's that's the only notable difference I've seen with this kit. Uh, there's really more things than uh, definitely let me know, but it's going to be retailing retailing at three thousand twenty four yen um, coming out next month. So I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy about this um, because there has not been a normal release Phoenix. Uh, you've had the silver chrome one, you've had the gold chrome one, you had that like very, it's the same color as this one. I think that was the um, the diver base, uh, or diver base or Gundam base, whatever. Um, and then there was the, the combination one. Uh, you basically get the silver and the gold uh, chrome versions uh, in one big box. Um, and all that is limited edition. I... I want I want basically all the versions uh, because I'm a huge Phoenix uh, fan. I have the Master Grade. I think it looks amazing. But I really wanted to uh, to paint these up, and I'm really happy that these are not going to be coated. Oh, well, at least this one's not going to be coated. It's going to be like that pretty dull, um, you know, gold plastic. So I'm happy. I'm happy about that because I am painting this kit up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a very nice. Uh, I'm going to say a metallic gold. I haven't really uh, really thought about the gold of which I'm going to use. Um, but I do want to use um, some really bright, glossy colors, uh, essentially. And the only weapon this thing is going to have is going to be that beam magnum. So um, I don't know if that's like a disappointment or not. Uh, but I really was not expecting much else since uh, the Fenex really doesn't have any other types of uh, accessories. But because it was a narrative version, I thought it might have something else. Uh, but 100%, I th I'm hoping this comes out not this weekend, but I hope it comes out next weekend. Because uh, I, I really want to build the uh, the Mizen Kaiser this weekend, and then next weekend, 100% focus on this kit. But uh, we'll go ahead and see which day in the month it actually releases. And next is the Figurized Labo Fumina Hashino. And then we have a Blue Haro. And then next is going to be the high grade. Uh, this is the Build Custom Spinning Blaster. I actually think this weapon's pretty unique. Um, it, I mean, it has different forms, you know, just this basic sword mode. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this picture. So uh, it basically has like different types of forms. Uh, you know, it has a Gatling gun, has this like this weird chainsaw thing. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. Um, and I don't know if it shoots the blades or if it's just basically like a little, I don't know, like a little saw. And then you got the sword. So I think the forms are pretty cool looking. It's I think it's unique enough. But it's, well, it's unique, but it's not unique enough for me to actually warrant me buying them because I have no idea where I would apply this part to. I don't, I mean, maybe the, um, 
what the hell is that kit? Um, the freaking or the Beam Master. I would probably use it for the Beam Master if I would use it for any kit, to be honest, because I think that thing really needs some better or I guess more unique weapons. Let me close this. Um, but overall, uh, I mean, it's coming out for 648 yen next month. I mean, I guess it's cool, but um, for me, it's going to be a pass. And then next is going to be the high grade build custom Potomiasu. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get heated up in the comments. I can feel it. Um, Potomios, uh, I don't know. I know it's from, I know it's from double O. I just, it's a ship. I don't, I don't know guys. Sorry. I'm, I'm inept. So, um, uh, this is basically just some build customs that actually goes to the, uh, the Cerevi. Um, I mean, I guess it's cool, but I mean, if I'm going to get this, I might as well just get the Cerevi that comes with them already. So, uh, but if you really just have, if you just really want these parts by themselves, uh, 972 yen, um, I mean, cool, but for me, uh, I'm, I'm not buying this. Okay, and next we have the high grade build divers Leo NPD. Uh, I'm pretty sure. What the hell did NPD mean? I'm pretty sure it says it like right. Non player diver. So the non player diver Leos, these are basically kind of like the NPCs of the diver world. So you go ahead and do missions and you'll fight against these guys. Um, I'm guessing to help gain currency or ranking or whatever. Um, I think they're pretty cool. Um, I love some of the heads, which which one in particular. Um, this one right here, like it's kind of like more of a GM head. This is my favorite one. I hate this one. This one's kind of, I think this one's kind of cool right here. And then this one's pretty dope as well. I just, I would put some color in that little visor. It's kind of like a unicorn head almost. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you got different shoulder arms. So, uh, you know what? It, it's a cool kit. I'm not, I'm not lying. But I don't see myself buying this, guys. Um, I already have a Leo. Um, I just don't think there's enough here for me to buy it. Uh, unless I'm really going to go ahead and do some like custom work to it. So maybe buying that like little custom arms uh, weapon that I mentioned earlier. Maybe I can buy that and then use that uh, for this and just do some custom stuff all over. But um, overall, guys, I don't really see myself um, getting this at all. So... Uh, but hey, 1,296 yen, so, so about 300 yen more, uh, you get some different accessories, so d different head parts and different shoulder parts. Hey, I, I think it's kind of worth it if uh, if you're really into it. All right, and next we're going to have the high grade build divers, Gira Giraga, I think it's Gira Giraga. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Um, so overall, I think this kit is amazing. Coming in at 1,944 yen. Um, I, I, I just love it. I loved it when it appeared in the anime. Um, and honestly, the best thing about this kit is I've been wanting to redo the one I have, the uh, the base. I think it's just a um, Garaga. I think that's just the original name. But the one from uh, Gundam Age, um, I have that in my – I've been having that in my collection for like six years, six or seven years whenever it's released. Um, and I've always wanted to do extra to it. I've always wanted to like maybe buy a new one, do some extra stuff, or just clean it, clean the one I have. Um, the one I have now, clean it up, and then paint it up or something like that. But this one, um, I'm really, really digging it, and I'm really considering uh, painting that blue, uh, either a very glossy blue or a uh, metallic blue, because I, I'm just in love with this kit. Uh, I love the long tail. Um, I love those little like wing effect parts, um, and everything else is, is is pretty much the same kit. I don't really see much uh, difference. The shoulders, the chest, uh, most of the legs look all all the same. Um, the heads the heads definitely different. Um, the tail's longer. Uh, looks like some of the those little uh, yellow vents are a little bit longer on the legs, um, and then just the effect parts on the um, the backpack as well as the legs. Those are going to be different. Um, but overall, I think it looks fantastic. Um, I don't know. I think it's just, um, I just think it's a really awesome kit. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. That's a 100% buy. Okay, and next we're going to have the SD Gundam Cross Silhouette RX-78-2 Gundam and the Cross Silhouette Frame Set. Um, so basically, this with this set, you're getting both the inner frame, uh, which is going to be the white inner frame, as you can see right there. Um, so you're going you to get the white inner frame as well as the SD RX-78-2. Um, this is just fantastic. I'm not really that, that much of a fan of the, um, the beam rifle. I think the beam rifle looks kind of like, eh, I, I, I wish it, it just looked a little bit more articulate, I guess, I, or, or maybe more detailed. I just think it looks kind of like short. I mean, yes, it's an SD, so of course, um, but like everything else on the kit looks fantastic. I know like the pictures that it shows are kind of more detailed up pictures, 
Um, but overall, I think that um, I think it's going to look fantastic. I, I don't really need. I don't even see myself really having to put more panel lines into it because it has it has quite a few panel lines as it is. Um, but I'm really really excited to go ahead and just like build this. Um, I don't know. The thing is, like, there's no actual days for any of these releases, and normally they would have them up by now. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe by this Friday they might start putting uh, some of the dates, at least for this upcoming weekend, uh, the releases. But they usually have the dates, so uh, this could be the third week, uh, the third Friday of the month. Um, that might be when this actually is released. So we'll go ahead and see. But this is a 100% buy for me. All right, next you're basically just going to have the uh, the little cross silhouette frame. This is going to be the white frame. Uh, so keep note, obviously you can paint these frames. You don't have to be exclusive like, oh, wait for the gray frame, wait for the, um, I don't know if there's going to be a black frame, but I definitely know there's going to be a gray one and there's a white one. So you can, if you don't want to paint, then wait for the, the other colors. But me, um, I'm probably going to buy this one because um, the Nightingale's coming out and that would not look good with a white frame. So... Uh, I'm probably going to buy this uh, paint, paint up. I'm painting up the night, Nightingale because um, I don't have a Nightingale in my collection. So why not have an SD cross silhouette? Uh, but the frame itself is only going to be 648 yen. So uh, when you, whenever you buy these SD kits, unless they come with a bundle, which more than likely they're, they're not, um, you're really going to have to go ahead and buy the frame alongside it. So um, I'm going to be doing a lot of double buys of like, hey, I've got to buy this SD. Now i got to buy this um the, the frame with it and uh, go ahead and paint it all up. But overall, it looks very, very nice. Uh, it's going to come with a GM head. So if you want to make a GM Gundam, well, not GM Gundam, well, uh, a GM SD, you can pretty much do that with the RX-78. You're just going to probably have to mod some things. Um, obviously, like this with the chest, front screw, actually the whole entire thing is going to have to be modded uh, to, look like a, uh, to look like a GM. But uh, overall, I think it looks pretty awesome. Okay, and here is the SD Gundam Cross Silhouette Nightingale. Uh, this is going to be coming in at 1,500 and, uh, well, sorry, uh, well, 1,512 yen. So um, that's that's quite a bit. That's actually, I think, the same, that's pretty much the same price as the ARC 78 2 with the uh, frame already bundled with it. So if you're really uh, wanting this, you're going to have to fork over about 2,000 yen for this and the, uh, the frame. Um, but to me, hey, I think it's completely worth it. I love the way it looks. Um, I have not built the original. Uh, I think there there is an original Nightingale uh, SD. I'm, I'm one, like 100 sure. Um, came out maybe like about five six years ago. Uh, but I have not built anything Nightingale. Uh, haven't I haven't I haven't even touched the um, the RE100, which I really I would really like in my collection. I just haven't committed to that. So um, I definitely want this, and I'm gonna paint it up. I'm gonna go ahead and give those little uh, funnels some effects. Uh, don't really know what else I'm going to do to it, but um, yeah, this is definitely going to be a nicely painted kit in my collection. Okay, and next is, oh, this is some some beauty right here. Um, the SD Gundam Cross Silhouette Crossbone Gundam X1. Uh, basically coming in at 864 yen, very, very cheap. Um, it looks fantastic. Uh, looks like the beam effect parts are going to be clear beams. They're not going to be like just bare plastic, and you got to paint the beams yourself. They're going to be clear uh, beam effect parts. Um, just looking at it, uh, obviously all this is already colored in, painted, detailed. So it's really hard to see what I need to do. Um, I, I don't know exactly how much. I, I would say obviously a lot of that yellow, except for maybe the the chest vent, uh, but like the little Vulcans and the, like the little shoulder yellow. Um, that's gonna have to be painted in. I don't really know how, as much. Like I know there's like little red parts on the face. Um, so it's, it's gonna be a lot of work that needs to get put into this. I can already feel that. There's, there's not gonna be a whole bunch of um, parts separation, little color separation on this. But um, I'm, I'm definitely buying this with the frame, and I'm gonna make a. I, I I'm kind of reluctant on getting getting like three of these or even four of these, and then making um, X zero to X three. Um, X, X2 would just have to have a different V fin, which shouldn't be too hard to customize. I can just cut some plastic and then you know mold it how I need. Um, and then X3, it just requires a three on the forehead. I don't think it has much else different. Um, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the X1 and kind of wait a little while, see if there's going to be an X2, X3, maybe maybe even Pete Bandai, I don't know. But um, we'll go ahead and see because I do want um, some glorious SD uh, crossbone Gundams in my collection. 
Okay, and next we're going to have the SD Gundam Cross Silhouette, RX-78-2 RX Gundam. Now, this is just the SD uh, without the frame. So, if you, if you just want the SD RX-78, whether it's going to be customizing or you're just going to make it into a normal SD, uh, this is going to cost you 864 yen. Um, that's a little bit more than the, uh, the crossbone, but hey... I think it's going to be worth it, man. If you really want this, um, I would say definitely go ahead and buy it. It looks really clean. It looks pretty awesome. But uh, the, the really, like, short, chubby SDs, I'm not about. But, like, the NX Edge style, um, those are the kits I really, you know, love. So um, whenever I, I, I get my RX-78, give it that little frame, it's going to be beautiful. So, I, I mean, yeah, you can definitely buy this by just getting, you know, just, just getting this, make it the SD, uh, because I think this is going to be way way better than some of the other sds that came out in the past um but honestly i think this line just really needs those little frames to to really stand out okay next we have the re 100 vig nagina um i think this is a fantastic uh looking kit now i, I rewatched uh gundam f91 recently um i really love this suit in action i, th I thought it looked fantastic uh and now looking at the re 100 it just it just screams detail me it screams custom paint um there's just so many opportunities i can go ahead and do on this like there's a lot of different paint opportunities i don't think i'm gonna fully paint this but it's still up in the air um i may may not but i think as of right now i might just do detail painting um and then just overall like kind of do some some you know small detail weathering here and there um but i think this is a fantastic looking kit and uh this is a 100 percent buy um coming in at 3456 yen so that's actually a really good price um, I mean, that's almost master grade price, but I think this is going to be, um, a fairly articulated kit and it's going to have, I, I don't really see any gimmicks except for like those little wing binders. But, uh, other than that, I mean, I think it looks fantastic. So, um, I'm definitely buying it. And then the last kit that is actually a normal release for the month is going to be the high grade UC Gabaldi. Um, I'm actually not a fan of the Gabaldi. I don't think it really looks that amazing, but I do appreciate this kit. I think it, I think the details on this kit is phenomenal. Um, you know, the articulation, the gimmicks, everything looks amazing. Um, but I'm just not a fan of the aesthetics. I, I just don't think it looks like a really cool kit, but that's also because I'm not a Xeon kind of guy. Um, or wherever, let's see, appeared mobile suit Zeta. I don't know if this, I mean, yeah, I guess it was Xeon. Um, but yeah, I'm just not a fan of it, to be honest. Like, it just, it just doesn't look good. So, um, it's going to be a big skip for me, but, uh, if you want it, it's going to be at 1,620 yen. This is definitely going to be an end of the month kind of kit along with the, uh, Vig Nagina. So whatever one y'all trying to get, uh, I, I would say y'all, y'all can probably expect this, uh, probably the last Friday or the second to last Friday of the month. Okay, now we are going into more of um, P Bandai territory. So um, I'm I'm probably not picking up any of these because I don't plan on going anywhere this month. Um, I may go to Hiroshima one of these uh, one of these weekends, um, but it's actually really not to go look for P Bandai. I like to go to Hiroshima just to kind of like roam around, have have a good time. Um, but this is basically the uh, the Pixie Gundam Pixie High Grade. Um, coming in at 2,160 yen, I think it looks pretty cool. It, this would be something I would 100% buy, especially for those, uh, little, like, slashing effect parts. I think those look fantastic. Um, definitely would like to detail this up in every, every way I can. Um, I think it also is using the, uh, the Origin. I'm pretty sure it's using the Origin kind of, like, frame and, uh, ar not, maybe not armor, but it looks like it's, it's more aligned to the origin. Eh, I guess maybe I'm wrong, um, but yeah, it looks really good. Comes with a lot of accessories. I love the uh, the little like da not only the daggers but the Uzis that it has. I think that looks fantastic, and it's a very just it's a very cool looking kit. So um, if I happen to go out in, in town and I see this kind of just roaming around, uh, yeah, I'm de I'm definitely gonna 100% buy this. So um, if you do want to buy this, I would say get with your retailer, whoever it is online or. Um, if it's going to be someone near you that can go ahead and pre-order for you and send it to you, definitely pick it up uh, if you do like it. Okay, and next is going to be the high-grade wound wart, the TR-6. Um, this is another kit that I really wish would have been a normal release, but unfortunately it is a P-Bandai. Uh, coming in at 1,944 yen, um, it's, I mean, it's amazing. It's a transformable unit as well, and I think the transformation doesn't look bad at all. Uh, I don't think they're, yeah, they don't have any uh, pictures of the transformation. Uh, but the transformation flight mode doesn't look bad at all. Uh, the weapon looks fantastic. Uh, its backpack can, I guess, 
go into like some kind of weird claw. I've I've never read or seen any kind of like really detailed pics of this suit. I just kind of like seen it in passing when I'm like looking at advanced Zeta stuff. Uh, but overall, for 1,944 yen, uh, obviously it's going to be marked up probably close to like 30 bucks. Um, but I think this is definitely worth it. And it's probably going to have a lot of detail paints that you're going to have to put into it. Like the little finger tips is definitely not going to be red. And like just some parts I'm looking at um, probably is not going to be that uh, color. But um, I, I think it's worth the pick up. And if I do find it in the wild, I will 100% get it. And then next we have the RA100 Mark III. This is... Um, I guess it's like a Char version. I'm not really too sure. Uh, like once again, I don't really, I don't really get into a lot of these kind of like side story, you know, like ups, I don't want to say obscure, but more like non, like normal people <laughs> kind of stuff. This is more of like people that like to go into the uh, more in depth kind of stories of Gundam, um, unless it has like an anime form or a. Actually, not, even if it had a manga, I probably wouldn't read it. Cause I tried re reading the um, Bill Fighters Amazing Ready. Um, didn't really get get into it that much, but um, if it has an anime, I probably watched it, and I'm I'm gonna be into it. But I have not seen the Mark III outside of uh, the RE100 line, so I think it's a really cool looking kit. But uh, as a P Bandai, I don't really see anything outside of the different colors as well as the different um, stickers. Or I don't know if they're gonna be water slides, but um, if they're water slides or stickers, um, that's the only thing that's gonna be different. But the base kit itself is the same. So if I really want this kind of color scheme. I would just buy a regular Mark III for like stupid cheap and then just uh, paint it up and then buy some custom, you know, water slides. Uh, but overall, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I'm just saying like I, if I really do want a Mark III at this point, um, I would buy one. But r right now, I don't really need a Mark III. I really do want one. Um, so even if I see this out in town, I'm probably not going to buy it, guys, uh, just because I can go ahead and paint it up myself. But it's going to be coming at 3,780 yen. So if you are inclined to go ahead and get this, um, I mean, that's, I guess, to me, it's a little bit overpriced. Um, but hey, that's all in y'all. Okay, and next we're going to have the Master Grade uh, GM Dominance. Um, I think this is a fantastic GM in the Master Grade line. Uh, everything about this just looks fantastic. Um, I, obviously, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is using a lot from the, uh, I want to say the GM Sniper Custom, maybe? Um, I'm not really sure. I haven't built any of the GM Sniper Master Grades yet. I, even though I own, I own the custom and I own the um, the GM Sniper Two, but I haven't built them. They're just like, like I know I'm a bad person. Uh, they're just kind of sitting in my collection. But um, this looks fantastic. And honestly, I just want it for, for this gun. Like this gun, it looks fantastic. The double barrel, um, beam double barrel. I don't, I don't know the actual technical name but um i think that looks fantastic i wish everything was not in japanese um but yeah this looks amazing and it's coming in at 4860 yen that's quite a bit um so you're probably gonna expect this to be marked up close to like 60 bucks um so if you are gonna be wanting this just you're gonna fork over for quite a bit of money but uh i'm 100 i'm 100 sure it's gonna be worth it because all these details baby that looks so beautiful um so whoever buys this i'm 100 jealous uh, but if I do find this in the wild, it is going to be an instant buy and probably an instant build. Because um, overall, this, uh, I mean, everything about this just looks amazing. Okay, and next you're going to have the Perfect Grade Red Frame and Stray. Uh, this one's going to actually have the tactical arm. So um, if I'm going to get any Perfect Grade, I'm probably going to get this one. Uh, well, not not any Perfect Grade, but any Perfect Grade Red Frame. I'm going to go ahead and get this one uh, just because I would prefer to have mine with the tactical arms. I have the Master Grade. It looks fantastic. And I'm 100% sure that the perfect grade is going to look just as good. Plus, it comes with uh, two swords. Um, so, I just think overall, this looks fantastic. I, I, the only thing that's worrisome is going to be the weight. So, obviously, that weight is going to um, it's going to make it pretty pretty back heavy. And I can't really see it uh, being very stable when it's like holding it with one arm or some of the sword. So, I'm sure that this actually comes with a stand. Yeah. So, it's going to have a stand uh, just for the weapon. So... Um, yeah, you won't really have to worry about anything. Is I don't think it's gonna hold this pose right here. I don't see it doing that. But hey, if, uh, for those that actually has built the uh, perfect gray red frame, uh, definitely let me know in the comments if you or you know expecting this to uh, be able to hold the tactical arms like that. Uh, but coming in at two um, twenty four thousand eight hundred forty yen, that is quite a, a steep. I can find just the basic uh, perfect gray red frame for like maybe. 1700 yen i like i think i've seen it for like 1600 uh well not 1600 
16,000 or 17,000 yen. Uh, and I think the normal price is like 21,000 yen or something. So this is a big markup, but obviously this is, gonna be, this is marked up because of P Bandai as well as uh, the tactical arms. If I find it in the wild for a reasonable price, I'll probably pick it up, but it's not gonna be anytime soon. I guarantee you that. And then the last P Bandai is going to be the uh, Ion, Ion Frame. Um, it's like Lion. Yeah, Ion Frame Lion Dawn. Um, I, I don't know, man. This is, I mean, this doesn't look, really look that interesting to me. Um, if it was a normal release, I would probably get it because I like that shield. Um, but this being a P Bandai, I don't really see myself getting it. And I think there is already a kit that, that is already like this, just a different color. Um, I'm, I don't know. I'm not really too sure when it comes to the I, IBO uh, grunts because I don't really have any grunts from the IBO series. Uh, but I think it looks cool. Um, 12, uh, 1296 yen. That's a very reasonable price. So if I find it in the wild for like less than, if I find it for less than like 1800 yen, I might pick it up. But uh, as of right now, I'm not really too interested in this. Um, but hey, that is it, guys. So um, I just want to go ahead and give y'all my thoughts on all these different kits. Um, so June, like I mentioned, aside from the cross silhouette, there's really not much, uh, noteworthy here. Uh, July is going to be a huge month, which we'll get into at the end of June. Um, but with this month, this is a very slow month. So to me, this is actually a golden opportunity for me to really focus on my backlog and get rid of a bunch of kits. Not like get rid of like throw them away or sell or anything, but, uh, to start building and then, um, just kind of like get some of these kits, uh, knocked out of the backlog. So that way, when I start buying things and it goes to the backlog, I don't feel as bad. Um, but that's it for me, guys. I think I, I think this video went on way longer than what I thought. Um, so let me know in the comments below what kits are you're kind of expecting for June. Uh, anything that you would like for me to review in June, like any kits in particular, uh, let me know in the comments below. Like, hey, Kurosama, I haven't seen you build X kit. Um, definitely, I would like to see you review that. Cool. I'll go ahead and I'll put that into, uh, I pretty much like document. I document everything on my little notepad right here. So I write things down, load notes, and I, I do like estimated days. Like, okay, this day I'll go ahead and do this video. This day I'll do this video. And it kind of, it kind of keeps me a little bit organized, even though like some things get pushed around. So today was actually supposed to be the tilt rotor. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, I was supposed to do the tilt rotor pack today. But uh, with the new Pokemon news coming out and me being at the gym, you know, and then wanted to do this video i was like uh, i gotta push this till tomorrow so thursday i should have this this little tilt roller pack completely built uh and ready for review and then hopefully um maybe friday i, I if, if no kit comes out friday um then i'll go ahead and i'll do the f91 pose if a kit does come out friday i'll probably do the unboxing and the f91 pose i'll just kind of make it a bundled day uh but overall i i, I just want to get the f91 pose video done and then tilt rotor pack I'll get that out tomorrow. So um, pushing everything just one day ahead, but uh, hopefully I should still be on schedule. And then this weekend, uh, focusing on um, the Jim Rai uh, full, uh, Frame Arms Girl kit, and I'll focus on the uh, Mods and Kaiser. But uh, that's it for me, guys. Definitely thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you're planning to pick up. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.